Hey everyone, it's your bro JMO, and I'm back with another voice acting tip video. This one finally not a re-upload from my old channel. Glorious originality! I'm here to address a problem I often run into that I think other voice actors might deal with as well. Now before I dive in, understand that your voice acting journey is going to look very different from mine. Everyone's journey is. So this may not be an issue for every single one of you. Regardless, this is one of the roadblocks, if you will, that can weigh down actors or even discourage them from acting at all. And this roadblock is called perfection. Now, I know full well I can be a perfectionist at times, sorting through details to make something better than best. And for some tasks, being a perfectionist is fine, but voice acting is not one of them. This job or hobby is about being creative, constantly improving, and moving forward, not perfecting everything. And I'm about to tackle a few ways perfectionism can hold you back. The first thing that comes to my mind regarding perfectionism is what I like to call the perfect project syndrome. And that is knowing the desired outcome, but not taking the first step because some of the other steps are out of the actor's control. Now, the perfect project syndrome specifically applies to voice actors who make their own projects like me. Some people will wait to record because they feel they need something external like music or sound effects for their project to be perfect. However, this is counterproductive because they are depriving themselves of an opportunity to apply experience now. For example, before Final Fantasy XV came out, a short anime series titled Final Fantasy XV Brotherhood was released. As soon as I saw the first episode, I wanted to make an English dub of it. However, things like the lack of Brotherhood's music and quality sound effects kept me from recording. I told myself, as soon as the music releases, I'll record. This line of thinking was a huge mistake, as the music for the series wasn't available for a long time, and by the time it was, I had lost interest in putting the dub together. My decision to wait was a mistake because I deprived myself of an opportunity to practice applying what I had learned to a project. If I had recorded when I initially thought of the dub, the worst that could have happened would be the music never released and the project never got finished, in which case I still would have gotten some more practice under my belt. And notice that I say recording, not uploading. If you have an idea, don't wait to record. That way you can have all necessary voiceover ready to go if you can later acquire that external material. At that point, you can consider timing your upload to make it more relevant, say a hiccup impression right before How to Train Your Dragon 3, but the timing is in no way your priority. Honing your skills is. Another way the perfectionist mindset can drag you down is thinking you have to have amazing equipment to voice act. A lack of good equipment should not hinder you from practicing acting. Now, down the road, you should look for better equipment, but if the mic on your phone is all you have, then use it. Again, the point is constantly improving. Better equipment in no way makes you a better actor. Practicing does. So continually practice with what you have while looking for better equipment options when you have the time and money. Last thing I need to address, speech impediments. Thinking a speech impediment will nullify any and all acting success shows a different mindset of perfectionism. One that says, nobody will cast me because they want the perfect actor, not me. Nope, no, no, get that out of your head now. You wanna know some synonyms for impediment? Obstacle, hindrance, hurdle. We all have these in some way, whether it's a speech impediment or say the impediment of a bad habit, something I notice very often when listening to my old recordings. We all have our hurdles, and while some are taller than others, they can all be jumped with practice. Speech impediments should not deter you from practicing voice acting. It's not all about the voice or the speech. Voice actors are actors first, so keep practicing your acting. Most impediments can be slowly suppressed or eliminated entirely with lots of practice. And on a side note, I have seen some auditions where the director wants a character to have a speech impediment to better reflect personality. So practice on your own and don't be afraid to audition. Get acting. If you have an idea, do it. Get yourself out there, practice. You will come across obstacles and roadblocks. Address them properly by asking yourself what you're going to do to conquer them and take those steps. Ignore the idea of perfection. Don't let it keep you from moving forward. And though it may feel like it sometimes, the work you apply toward improving is never a waste. 
Thanks for watching guys. This video was inspired from a comment on my last voice acting tip video and some of my own personal thoughts. So that being said, if you have any questions or concerns within your personal voice acting journey, please let me know down in the comments. I want these tip videos to be me taking my personal voice acting journey to help you with yours as best I can. Again, thanks so much for watching and until then, it's your bro JMO, signing out.